Good morning and welcome back to Hook of the Week. Let's not waste any time. Let's go right to what's left of the bucket and see what we've got that we can use this week. I think this piece of round bar, that looks like it's 5 8 round bar, so what is that, or about, about 17 millimeters, something like that. Again, the size doesn't matter too much. And I think what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to draw it out into kind of a flat bar, let the ends flare out a little bit, fold it back on itself, forge weld the fold part, then we'll scroll up that part that I've welded, make that into the hook, and then open up the leg so there's a top and a bottom. Hopefully that'll all make sense once you see what I've got in mind. First thing to do then is just flatten this out. And yes, I would typically do this under the power hammer, but I know a lot of you like to see things done by hand. So I don't always go to the power hammer, even though it is much more efficient for most of the work that I do in this shop. Take this down to about a quarter of an inch thick. And these ends I'm going to let flare out a little bit. That's about what I'm after. I'll turn around and do the other end. Find the center. We'll just fold it in half. And just a little bit of flux. That's all the weld that this is going to get. I think I'm going to go ahead and let this flare out a little bit too. So we'll just peen that just a little bit wider. Let it spread.
think that just adds a little bit of interest to the finished hook. I'm going to start scrolling this up while it's flat like this. But we'll probably finish it after we spread the arms out. That's a good start. Next thing I'm going to do is put this in the vise upside down and then spread the arms. I'm just going to put what scroll I've got there down where the vise jaws won't hurt it. Well, of course, the camera hit its maximum file size and shut off during that last little bit. Now we just need to finish this up a little bit. I'm going to tighten that scroll some and then drop it down in the hardy hole. to flatten the ears out. Flatter's not completely necessary, but nice if you have one. This is really a pretty simple little hook. Seems like I've seen something like this somewhere before, but I can't remember exactly where right now. Just trying to straighten it out. The only thing left to do with this is put a touch mark and drill some holes. And with a little bit of paste wax on it, this hook is complete, but still too hot to touch. Sometimes just having the ability to do that little simple forge weld can really open up some doors for you. So if you haven't learned to forge weld, this is a good project to try. It doesn't have to be a perfect weld. You don't have to try and bring two pieces together. It's just folded over and welded. Good basic weld if you're just learning to forge weld. I do hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. If you haven't done so already, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you join us next week for another exciting hook of the week. But in the meantime, I hope you have time in your day to get out to your shop, make something, wear your safety glasses. We'll see you for the next one. Mm -hmm.